Hello chess lovers, Sloven here and in today's video we will take a quick look at an interesting game played between Levon Aronian and Vishwanathan Anand. This game is from the ongoing 2022 Superbet Chess Rapid and Blitz. This is a game from round 5 and Aronian opened up with e4 to which Anand answered with e5. By the way, let me tell you that Anand started the tournament in a fantastic way. He celebrated 5 victories in a row and only the 6th game ended in a draw. So this is a brilliant start for the former World Chase Champion and now we are in round 5. Anand is against Aronian and Bishop's opening is on the board. Uh, something which Aronian also played against Kiruana in round 1 and celebrated a victory. Uh, this is not considered to be an ambitious line, it leads to a quiet battle with long maneuvers. This position reminds me of Gioco Pianissimo, but in Gioco Pianissimo as you know the queenside knight stands on c6 while in our case uh, Arnold put the c pawn on that square. White is rejecting the offer of exchange of light squared bishops and then establishing a classical pawn center. Bishop g4 h3, bishop retreats and we have a very aggressive g4 move. The move is of course uh, weakening the king side but we can see that Aronian is not afraid of those weaknesses and he is boldly moving forward. Rook takes e5, knight c4. Uh, this is a mistake and better was playing king g2, unpinning the f pawn and preparing f4. Uh, but in this case you have to be ready to face d5 and in this case black can actually go for an exchange sacrifice and get a very nice compensation. The fight goes on. Uh, in our game after rook takes e5 we have knight c4. White is attacking black rook as well as this pawn on d6 but in here instead of thinking about defense Anand went for a direct kill. Can you find his next move? Ready? Anand went for knight takes e4. Now look if you accept the rook sacrifice then knight takes f2 is coming the queen is now hanging if queen e2 then queen h4 and this is going to be crushing, you know guys, this bishop on b6 is a monster and now we can see that weakening the king side costs white a whole game and this is how black can win. In our game after knight takes e4 we have knight takes b6. Aronian decided to get rid of that strong bishop but even this can't stop black. Here. Anand landed another heavy punch. This time we have knight f2. Yes, anyways knight f2 is coming, destroying white's king side. And now if king takes f2, then check, and then bishop takes c2. Aronian played queen d2, and there came queen takes b6. If queen takes f2, then rook takes e1. Uh, Aronian played rook takes e5, but there came a discovered check. King g2, knight takes e5. Yeah, things escalated really quickly and white is in a hopeless situation. Queen d1, knight d3, b3, queen d5 check, white resigned. Black has two extra pawns, also a very nice attacking position. This exposed king is a huge problem and Still you need to also develop these pieces and enough is enough, Aronian decided to resign. An impressive game by Anand and all that start hit of this knight e4 which was met with a crushing knight takes e4. In the end the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. The task is very easy and as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.